Well, here we go. This is the uh, swarm trap I put up. There's some <laughs> comb underneath on the stand. Uh, but they are definitely coming in and out of this trap. And uh, there's a lot of bees coming in and out of that trap. A lot of bees. Uh, maybe later tonight I'll get up there and check and make sure the door's fine. But I ain't getting up there right now. I'm going to let them sit in there for about a week and establish themselves. Yeah, I don't know if I can get this high enough to... Yeah, the date is April 22nd, 2019, but, uh, yeah, April 22nd, 2019, and I definitely have caught a swarm. There's a lot of bees around that trap. There's a lot of bees. Now. Go take a little walk right over here. I was gonna come out and bait these traps today with uh, Swarm Commander. <laughs> well, I didn't have to bait that one, so I walked over to the other one, and I didn't see anything. So I went get the bottle of Swarm Commander, and I came back, and I was about to spray it in there. And right when I got close to the to the front of it, about five or six bees came flying out of it. So, let's see what's happening here. Alright. Oh, yep. They come. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Got some activity going on here. That might just be scouts. But it's definitely be coming in and out of that thing. Quite a few of them, too, to be exact. Not as near as many as the other, but... It's they definitely there. I um I wasn't getting any activity on these traps on these boxes. So what I did on this one is I expanded it because I heard so much about the five frame nukes deeps weren't quite big enough. So I made that bottom. Uh that's about seven seven inches bigger so since I've done that about a week ago or two week and a half look at this I think I caught two I, I was working this weekend so I couldn't check them so I don't know exact dates they came in but it's within in the last two days that these bees have taken up yeah they're definitely going in and out of there no doubt no doubt they are in there yeah that's, uh, that don't look just like only scouts to me. It's not near as big as the other one, but they're coming in and out for sure. Oh, yeah. If that's just scouts, then they'll be here soon. Oh, yeah. If that's just scouts, they'll be here soon. Because look how many are coming in and out of there. Well, there were just a bunch of them. Oh, I got this zoomed in too close. Okay. I'm not going to mess with them. I'll let them just do their thing. They, there was about seven or eight bees just now in and out of that thing. Oh. Somewhere there's a swarm wanting to get in there, or there's a small one in there already. See him coming in there? There, there's another one. They're coming and going, so, which leads me to believe that they are in it. You know, that might have been that other swarm so big this might be a break off of that one maybe they had multiple queens and one came over here and got a few of them that'll work out perfect we'll see
All right, this is a hive, and I don't know what's going on with it, but it looks like they're fran more frantic than bees should be coming into a new hive. I'm just going to video some of the what's going on here. It's almost like they had a swarm in there. I don't know if that's another swarm trying to overtake this one. Because this one, last weekend, they, uh, they, un they, they occupied this hive along with another, this trap, swarm trap with another one. And today, I mean, it's like frantic activity. I don't understand it. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's the original colony but it, man the numbers just look like crazy more than what they were so well, i don't know they ain't uh, they ain't bothering me none i mean i'm right by it but they uh sure look like they agitated about something i don't know And they bumping into my head and stuff, but they ain't really messing with me. There's a lot of bees, though. I mean, it just stormed down rain for about two-thirds of the day and got clear. I don't know if that has something to do with it. But none of the other hives are doing this that I have. I don't know. I'm just trying to get as close as possible without like sticking my camera up into that. Uh, I don't know what that, what that is going on here. Yeah. Maybe it's just happy bees? I don't know. I don't know if you step back. And look at them. You know what? I know what this might be. This might be, I don't know, they call it a mating flight? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe they're doing a mating flight. Maybe the queen was an unmated queen. I don't know. I, I'm just guessing because. I have no idea. Maybe someone, if in the future ever watches this and knows what the heck that means by this kind of activity, they'll be able to tell me. Yes. Oh, okay. I just cleaned the lens a little bit and it looks a lot better. There we go. Yeah, that helps out a lot. So, I don't know exactly what's going on, but that's a lot of bees. I mean, the other day I came to this thing and it, it wasn't near as active as any of the other ones. And then all of a sudden it's the most active. I have no idea what's going on, so... Maybe that's what it is, it's a mating flight. Maybe that's what's going on.
I have no idea. And they don't really look like they attacking each other too much. I thought maybe it was another swarm came in and attacked the original one since it looked kind of weak. Maybe it added more bees to it because I heard of them adding bees or accepting more bees. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Because this is the other hive right over here. The other swarm trap. I caught and it was the one that was the most active the other day and today it's just like business as usual and uh I mean I'll show you they got a few bees coming in and out not too too many but some And there's some bees coming and going. Of course, this one's not in as much sun right now. I mean, they in there. The other day, though, there was bees all over this thing. See, there's pretty good activity going on around there. I mean, they had comb underneath. What I think that is, is uh, when the original swarm must have clustered on the bottom. They probably built some comb right there, because the entrance to that is pretty restrictive. The uh, entrance reducer on this one is one I made myself, and I made it pretty small, like swarm trap small. So, yeah, they still coming and going just fine. Anyway. Okay. Oh, what did I do? All right. Anyway, this is a beehive. Boy, earlier they were just tons of them, just everywhere outside this thing. And this hive has got some bees in it, but I moved it the other day. I caught a swarm in this hive, this swarm box, I guess. It's a nuke, and then I added that bottom part. And I had it, I got my sprinkler on, and a tree way on the other side. And I had to move it because I want them all over here. So when I moved it, I know the old adage that you got to move them three feet or three miles. But that ain't, you know, sometimes you can't, you got to do what you got to do. And I, I researched on how to make them do an orientation flight by putting an obstacle up in front of them. And I did. So, I don't have any of my clothes on. <laughs> There's my bee jacket. I'm going to try and do this without it. But, alright. So, I moved it. Okay. Let's see. It's hard to do this. Alright. So that's what they look like. So. They got some comb they built in there. And there's bees in there. But I got to look and see if I can find a queen. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can find a queen. Oh, there's some on the bottom. That's what I'm looking at. So I'm going to put these right here. And I uh, only have four frames in there. Okay. I'm sweating so bad. That's why I don't want to put that coat on, that jacket. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look and see if I can find a, a queen now. Watch that dirt rooster guy. And he says wear a pair of glasses. So I'm going to put some sunglasses on. Wear your hat backwards and all of that. So, 
I'm going to try and do this and I'm going to pick the camera up from time to time to show y'all. But uh, let's see. Oh, look at that hive beetle already. So there ain't nothing wrong. That, that ain't in any way, shape, or form. So I'm going to go ahead and... Ooh, something feels like it's holding. Oh, that's just a few bees here now. Now, you know, a little comb here, but they put on there, but nothing major. So I'm just gonna put that right back in there. See if I can. Why does it feel like it's hanging up a little bit? I hope he's just checking me out. Ain't mad. Okay. Those feel like they stuck together. like it has a little more on it than the last one. Oh, it's heavier. A lot heavier. So this has brood on it. I gotta put these glasses up a little bit. I can't really see. Why is that bee checking out my finger? Don't stink me. Oh, I got this upside down. So. Oh. I don't see any clean looking activity. Again, I see, I see larva. I see larva in there. Oh, that tickles right now. Don't don't tickle me anymore. <laughs> so I do not see a queen on this one. Oh, I have one under my finger on the other side. Okay, so <clears throat> the next frame looks like it might have more on them. There's a bee doing some kind of waggle right there. There's more on the other side. Don't see a queen. Hey, that's that kind of hole they said they'd go through. They're doing a waggle. Hope we get that. Mm -hmm. 
Well, this has comb, like double combed. A lot more brood on this side. So that queen could be in between that. making that comb really weird like they making it in between almost feel like I'd have to cut that off <clears throat> so I can't tell if I got a queen on the inside of that on the other side but there's larva okay don't stay me There's nothing on the next frame. Oh. And I'd have to believe that the queen is on the other side of this if she's in here because that would be the most probable place of course. Cat brood. I see larva in there. I'm not the most accomplished bee keeper yet for sure I'm wondering if I should get some smoke and try and smoke on them kind of force them out I think I'm gonna try them. okay I smoked them and they ain't happy <laughs> they came out a little bit more from behind there Doing some of that fanning. Some of them are fanning. So I don't know if they're just trying to fan the smoke away or if they're telling me a queen is in there. I don't know. I don't think there's too many more behind there. Thought I might have saw one. Nope. If you see larva, does that mean there's a queen? If you see larva, does that mean a queen? I don't see f new eggs. I don't think that's a problem. Oh no. I'm gonna put it back in there. I think I've been in this one too long. Well, is this enough that they'll make a queen cell or something? Would one of them turn them in there and have a queen? I don't know. Hopefully. But I think we did. Enough for now. I'm gonna take and put. Take this.
I don't know if y'all can get what I was doing, but I took that bottom piece off of there. So that they would... I don't really need to have that entrance reduced on there, I don't believe. So... Anyway, I'm out. Ah, I didn't wear the bee suit for the first time. I took a sting, but that was my fault because I don't know if I got it on the tape. But I dropped a very full frame. I let it slip because, you know, I'm a rookie. Anyway, so... Uh,